This is how you can boost FPS and lower input delay in all of the games that you play. Hey everyone, it's Rek here and in this video I'm gonna be showing you a bunch of tweaks and settings that you can use right now in order to boost FPS, lower input delay and even lower ping at any other game that you play regardless of your PC specifications. But before jumping into the video, just take a second to leave a like on this video so that it can reach more people and help them as well. And with that, let's jump straight into today's video. So the very first thing that you need to do is go down into the description of this video and download the FPS pack made by me it will be on my website which does contain some ads because they helped run this channel so yeah just make sure to skip those ads and download it and once you have downloaded it just right click on it and extract it using 7-zip winrar or whatever you want once the pack is extracted go ahead and open it up now we're gonna be going ahead and starting off with the command tweaks so open this folder up and then go into the driver tweaks first now here you need to make a choice so go ahead and open up the file explorer and check the drive that you have your windows installed on for me it's my C drive where I have installed my windows and it's on an SSD. For those of you guys who have an SSD, go ahead and use this tweak. And for those of you guys who are using a hard disk, just go ahead and use this one. So for me, I have my windows installed on the SSD. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on this and run it as administrator. Once that is done, we can go back and then go ahead and run all of these one by one. For the BCD tweaks, it's going to go ahead and lower the input delay. So right click on it, run it as administrator and then it'll just go ahead and disable the dynamic take the HPET service, synthetic timers and all the good stuff. So press any key to continue, disable process mitigations once again, right click, run it as administrator and then just go ahead and let it do its work. Once it is completed, now this is because I have already disabled a lot of stuff. So once it has been completed, just go ahead and press any key to continue once again. Then disable windows tracking and spareware. So right click, run it as administrator and then just go ahead and let it do its work. Once again, press any key to continue once done. And for the remove runtime broker dot bad, it's going to go ahead and remove the runtime broker exe from the list of the processes that are running in the background so yeah right click run it as administrator and since i have already disabled it it's going to go ahead and just skip it so once you are done with all of the command tweaks you can go back into the pack and open up the registry tweaks now inside of here we're going to begin starting off with the decrease delay so if i go ahead right click on it and click on edit you can see the values that we are going to be changing and it's basically going to go ahead and help you with lowering the ping so double click on it hit yes hit okay then disable gpu energy driver as it says by the name it's going to go ahead and disable the gpu energy driver then disable network throttling once again the same thing for the gpu tweaks you can go ahead and take a look at the things that we're going to be changing and it basically has to do with most for the nvidia so yeah just go ahead close out of it double click on it hit yes hit okay then memory management optimizations the same thing and same thing for the monitor latency tolerance once again you can go ahead and right click on any of them click on edit to see the values that we're going to be changing you can go back into the pack and run the vnix.bad as an admin now this is is a tool by Phoenix, and all you need to do is first go ahead and type in the one press enter and then it's going to go ahead and apply a bunch of registry values as you guys can see on your screen then we can go ahead and apply some of the network values as well so i'm going to go ahead and type in two and press enter it's going to go ahead and apply a bunch of network tweaks as well then there is the geo ips registration and booster as well which you can go ahead and use one by one the reason i'm not using it because i'm recording and i don't want this recording to mess up but we're going to go ahead and press uh, five and then press enter to just go ahead and know more about it it's going to go open up a discord link which you can go ahead and join in order to know more once you're here you can go ahead and type in back to go back apply the booster apply this and then go ahead and press x enter to close out of the program so once you're done with all of those open up the start menu and go into the settings inside of system go into display and make sure that the scale and layout is set to 100 percent and also just go ahead and make sure to check your resolution then go into the advanced display settings then go into the graphic settings and just make sure that the hardware acceleration if the option is available to you is turned on and also make sure to add your games here and set them to high performance all you need to do is click on browse then go ahead and look for the .exe file of the game that you want click on add once it's added click on it click on options and set it to high performance save and that's it then go into the notifications and actions and just make sure that the notifications are turned off focus assist make sure that this is turned off as well then you can go ahead and go in to the home and then go into the personalization for here go into the colors and just make sure that the transparency effects are turned off go back into home go into apps and just make sure that all of those apps that you don't use are turned off or uninstalled i mean as for the default apps just go ahead and set them to whatever you want then for the offline maps just go ahead and delete those since i have already disabled the maps it's really not there then for the startup all you need to do is just go ahead and turn off all of the settings that you don't want to start up with your pc then going back into the home 
home and go into the gaming inside of here make sure that the game bar is turned off and game mode is turned on go back into home go into the ease of access and inside of here just make sure that most of the settings here are turned off that you don't want to use that's basically it going back into home go into search and make sure that this is set to the off and also searching for windows is set to classic go back into home once again privacy make sure that everything here except your camera and microphone are turned off so literally everything but the most important has to be the background apps going into the update and security just go ahead and check for updates and update your windows delivery optimizations make sure that they are turned off other than that you can close out of this and what you need to do now is open up the start menu once again and type in ms config go ahead and open it up go into the startup go into the services make sure that hide all microsoft services is checked and then uncheck any of the services that you don't want to start up with your windows so for example if i don't want to start up this serum eject i'm gonna go ahead and uncheck this and that's basically it i'm gonna go ahead and hit ok exit without restart and that's all another thing that you should be doing regularly is cleaning up the disk so open up your start menu and search for disk cleanup go ahead and open it up select the drive where your windows is installed and click on ok it's going to go ahead and scan through all of the temporary files and the old files that have been building up in your drive in order to delete them now it won't cause any issues but you can go ahead and free up a bunch of space as you guys can see right here i'm gonna go ahead and click on ok hit delete files and then just go ahead and let it do its work all right so once it is done go into your start menu once again and go ahead and restart your pc and that's basically done with this video but i do want to say that i know i have been uploading a lot recently well there are a lot of issues going on right now hopefully everything gets resolved really soon and i'll be back to making more videos i don't have much time these days that is the reason that the videos are much shorter as well as not really well explained in my opinion but i'm gonna go ahead and work on improving that as well but with that if this video helps you in any way shape or form then make sure to leave a like down below so that it can reach more people and help them as well also make sure to hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you are notified when whenever i upload a brand new video and another thing that i want to say is that i do know there are a lot of ads on the website we have tried to block a lot of the pop-up ads but uh, some of them are quite necessary in order to keep this channel running because youtube doesn't pay much and i'm sure that a lot of you who are doing youtube already know that but yeah with that i guess i'll see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome